Eastern Field Director for Moms Clean Air Force. We are a public health organization of over 570,000 parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, teachers, and concerned citizens nationwide fighting to protect our children from toxic air pollution and our changing climate, and with over 11,000 members living in Maryland. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. I come to you not only as a representative of an organization that's concerned about the air our children breathe, but also as a concerned mother. I am the mother of two young boys, a mother who has watched her oldest child struggle for air when he was only a few months old. I watched him lose consciousness from struggling to breathe when he was one and sat next to him in a hospital bed just prior to his third birthday with doctors hovering over him waiting for his blood oxygen levels to improve. I know the fear that comes over the mothers of the over 145,000 children who suffer from asthma in the state of Maryland. Ground level ozone pollution, commonly referred to as smog, triggers hundreds of thousands of episodes of asthma and other respiratory ailments each year. Smog interferes with lung development and causes bronchitis and pneumonia. It sends thousands of children, like mine, to emergency rooms and costs Marylanders millions in healthcare costs, lost productivity, and premature deaths. Luckily for us, over the past few years, we were able to keep my son's breathing issues under control due to advances in medicine. Many families are not so lucky and continue to live with the fear of watching their child struggle to breathe on a daily basis in Maryland and throughout America. Breathing smog is like getting sunburn on your lungs. As mothers, we do everything we can to protect our children's skin from sunburn. And we especially do not want them to be suffering from sunburn on their developing lungs. It wasn't supposed to be this way. When Congress adopted the Federal Clean Air Act in 1970, it established the goal of setting and achieving air quality standards protective of human health by 1975, nearly three decades later, and Maryland's air is continuing to fail to protect the health of its residents. We must set strong health standards for pollutants to protect the health of our citizens and especially our children. Decades of scientific research links ozone to asthma attacks, bronchitis, heart attacks, and premature death. Elevated ozone levels can make it harder for even healthy people to breathe. The administration should follow the science. We need protections from ozone pollution from coal-fired power plants to provide the strongest public health protections for Maryland families. The new standard would reduce illnesses and hospital visits. It would improve air quality and reduce health issues for Maryland residents. Maryland had a good plan in place to clean up smog forming pollution from our aging coal plants. Strong clean air protections like those agreed upon earlier this year will reduce asthma rates, hospital visits, and save lives across the state. Communities across Maryland deserve better than to be burdened with ongoing air pollution from dirty, dangerous coal-fired power plants. No parent should have to worry whether the air outside is safe for their child to breathe. We are asking Governor Hogan to act to solve Maryland's smog pollution by instituting a plan that is, is as strong or stronger than the protections that were agreed upon in early 2015.